which property type should you invest in? This is a question I get all the time. So the truth is it really depends on your style of investing, what your objectives are, and how much you want to manage it. So with that being said, let's get into the different types of properties and which ones are good for what. Single family homes typically have the highest resale value. They also have the most flexibility when it comes to renovations and use of land. And on top of that, there's more suites that you could potentially rent out. Like you could rent out the main floor, the basement suite, a carriage house, the garage, giving you multiple streams of income, which makes it more diverse, which makes it a safer investment, but also allows you to pull in more money. And lastly, it gives you the opportunity to redevelop later on or sell to a builder, giving it the highest and best use. Now, the cons of getting a detached home is that it's the most expensive property type typically, as well as it has the most upkeep and maintenance. The pros of getting a half duplex is that cash flow is typically better than the other property types because you can rent out the upstairs and the basement and it's much cheaper typically than a single family home. It's also more private than apartments and townhomes and it has more potential for renovations. The cons of having a half duplex is that you still share a wall so you don't have the same redevelopment opportunity as you would with a single family home because if you want to redevelop it or sell it to a builder, they of course have to buy the other lot as well. So you need the consent from the other owner. With that, it's the second most expensive property type. The pros of getting an apartment is typically the costs are much lower. So maintenance fees, landscaping fees, that's included in your condo fee. Secondly is that it's easier to maintain and manage. And lastly, it's the most affordable property type typically. So it allows you to easily enter the market. Now, the cons of getting an apartment is that condo fees are always going up. You have to follow the condo board rules, so you may not be allowed to do certain renovations, as well as there's restrictions potentially for short-term rentals or Airbnbs. There's also less you can really do to add value to the property. It's an apartment. You can't really add like a secondary suite. You can't do that many renovations, so you're limited there and there's a lot more competition for rentals. Townhomes are very similar to apartments when it comes to their pros and cons, except they're typically a little bit bigger. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you would like more Calgary and Calgary real estate related content, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.